Just break out the popcorn. That's all I can say. Serving pizza, hot dogs, ice cream, and more to your seat. Find out more at eclipsecinemas.com. And it's time to join our man at the movies, Colin McFadden, uh, live from Eclipse Cinemas up there in Bundoran. How are you doing, Colin? Still alive, Jamie. It's been a while, though. <clears throat> and actually, it is, but I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, having, <clears throat> I'm, I'm having withdrawal <clears throat> symptoms. I haven't seen you well, that long. Well, I I might be slightly out of practice. Now, we were on last week with, with Kevin, and it was very enjoyable, but we were just on the phone. So I think I'm slightly out of practice because I was actually answering a message to a cinema customer on Facebook there, and I heard it, some music and went, oh, I know this one. And I went, oh, that means me. That means me. I'm on now. So um, we're back. We have two new movies to talk to and a few events as well. In the time, it's been a it's been a funny time with cinema. January should be rubbish. It should be a rubbish time. But there's been loads of movies out. I think I've seen two of the movies of the year already. Is it two that were shown this? Talk about this week? Is I it guess the two, we'll have is to it? see. Well, I'll I guess we'll have to see. Won't uh, we? I, I, you're going to kick off with uh, Argyle. And uh, I've only seen the clip. And uh, it's got a host of stars. It's got, it's got ah, everybody. Host who's of who? stars. More than you can shake a stick with. But that's kind of part of the movie in that you don't really know who's the star and who's not. Who's the spy and who's not. Well, do you know what? Let's play the clip and uh, I'm going to talk about it. But I want you to think. Do you remember Romancing the Stone? Have yes. a think about that. Yes. Mm. Have a think about that when you watch this clip. Listen up. Somehow, what you wrote in your Argyle series turned out to be real. And now every spy in the world is coming after us. I am a writer! I can't pull off a spy mission. I want all assets fixed on them now. We're gonna jump. What? Are you okay? I know how stressed you get with work. It's time for you to meet Agent Argyle. 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 Agent Argyle in cinemas now. Just break out the popcorn. That's all I can say. Well, you know, you're not, you're not far wrong there. But funny enough, that clip, you know, it all starts with Henry Cavill and Dua Lipa and John Cena. And everyone's, you know, <laughs> what you would expect in a spy novel. And then, as I said, Romance in the Stone, it sort of clicks to the author. And you find out this is a series of books. And these are the pictures in her head. And then she kind of gets dragged into spy life. But if she finds out that real spies aren't quite as glamorous as you see when Sam Rockwell turns up with his big straggly hair and beard and says, you know, I'm a spy. And she's looking at him going, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> and, and that's very much the essence of, of the movie. If in Romancing the Stone, she was an adventure novelist and meets a kind of real life Indiana Jones. This is kind of, she writes about a James Bond type of character and still suddenly gets dragged into this world. But there's a whole lot about who is real and who is not. When is it fiction and when is it not? But it's mostly just played for laughs and spectacular. You see there with the dance move with Dua Lipa, it's straight yeah. up to the whirly bird, as they call it. And um, it, it's very much tongue in cheek. Now, the fellow who made this made a couple of other movies that were very popular, Kick-Ass and particularly Kingsmen. And this is very similar to Kingsmen, except it's toned down. Kingsmen, I really enjoyed, but there was a couple of jokes that I'm like, I'm no prude. But I went, oh, that's not, that's not really not cool. And this is very much a 12A version of that. So it's lots of laughs, lots of fun, perfect bank holiday fair. That's what absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Is, is that open yet? No. Is that open it, yet? Oh, it opens tonight at half eight. And it, that's what it's made for. And now, is it amazing? Probably not. It could do with, you know, 20 minutes off. It's a wee bit indulgent. But, you know, so it wouldn't be a big summer blockbuster. But it's perfect for something like... Uh, bank holiday weekend and we've midterm coming up it's going to keep everyone happy from sort of 10 upwards because everyone can enjoy this if you like spy movies and James Bond you're going to enjoy this if you hate spy movies you'll probably enjoy this too because it's kind of taking the mickey out of those movies too and uh, some of the characters in it Sam Rockwell is just so good especially every time he da dances and Bryce Dallas Howard and they're in it a lot more than the poster would have you believe with the glamorous people involved I don't want to give away any spoilers although to be honest with you you'll know what's going to happen <laughs> but it's just you know what you said popcorn at it throw popcorn yeah. at it is the perfect thing it is just good dumb fun funny fun that's what it yeah, is yeah I, I have a feeling it'll be Argyle 2 next year anyway uh, yeah. that's that yeah 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 we're there Definitely, uh, right yeah. there's something for the kids there's a lot of people talking about this migration well they're talking about it for two reasons one it's not half bad 
And the other reason is it's been ages since we've had a kids movie. It's ages. We get the messages from the parents going, please. Don't be getting God, excited now, you kid, you big God, kid. You. T- tell me something's coming out. Please, <laughs> please. They're driving me spare. There's only so many times we can watch Bluey again. So, and this is from the people who brought us uh, Minions and Despicable Me. And it actually starts off with a short movie of Despicable Me. And, it, you know, it's not at that level. But again, just like we were saying before, it is perfect bank holiday midterm fair. It is good, lovely fun. It's quite similar to a couple of movies you've seen before, like Finding Nemo and so on. They're the family. The dad's very nervous. He never wants to leave the pond. All the other ducks go off to migrate to Jamaica and, and the par- and the rest of the family going, please, please let us migrate. They decide, he goes, okay, we'll do it this time. And of course they get lost. They get lost and they end up in New York. And in New York, <laughs> And they get everybody ends up side, in New York. Side tra- sidetracked by a load of pigeons. You know, you can see where it's going. But it's you know, it's very much of that sort of genre of, of like Madagascar, that sort of stuff. Cute yeah. animals. And the and the baby duck, the youngest duck, is so funny. Is really funny. And they've done a really good job there. The kids will really like it. You won't hate it. That is a really good. That's a really good level till Kung Fu Panda 4 comes along. That is what parents love because we, you know, we had a couple of good ones at Christmas with Trolls and we'd Wonka and Witch, but the other stuff that was out wasn't great really. You know, it was just, the kids were fine, but wasn't really entertaining them. This one they'll really enjoy, even if it's not a classic. It'll be good fun this weekend and it's cute and funny. And what's our favourite thing, Jamie? It's about an hour and 27 minutes. Bang, minutes. Whoa, yeah. That's long enough for a movie. Anyway, the kids will love that and yeah. uh, family favorite. Uh, we talk about Missed It Monday first. Uh, you're bringing back Ferrari, which I haven't bringing seen. Bringing back Ferrari on a day. Now, I'd like to pl- say we planned this on the day that Ferrari's all over the news because Lewis Hamilton has joined them, apparently. That's yeah. why we did it. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was just what a coincidence. coincidence. What a coincidence. And funny enough, I didn't see this one because, you know, when I was off and I was off uh, getting uh, a quick medical procedure, this is one of the ones I didn't see, which is unusual for me. So I'm really looking forward to catching this on Monday. I think Adam Driver, you know, um, nominative determinism and all that is always worth watching. I've seen him in movies that weren't great, but I've never seen him be bad in a movie. And I always think he's interesting and I can't wait to see this. Apparently the, the racing scenes are spectacular. So I'm looking forward to this Monday, only a fiver. Yeah, there'll be lots of red cards yep. in it. Yeah, be in lots of red cards. Yeah, lots of red cards. Uh, missed it Monday on Monday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what time is that kicking off? That's on at half eight. And I do want to just mention so in Bundoran, there's a uh, failing a man. It's a big festival with lots of events on based around St. Bridget and women's events. And so on. We're kicking off. There's a documentary series called Mad, Bad, and Dangerous about really interesting Irish women. And it's st- there's an episode with Bernadette McCallisky, and they're showing it, especially in the cinema. It's free in tomorrow at 5 30. Now, they haven't sent me the file yet. So if they don't send me the file, I don't know what we're going to do. But it's free in at 5.30 and people might be interested in seeing seeing that as well. But there's loads of events on this weekend and I have to put my Bundoran hat on and uh, give it a plug because it's really good stuff. And can I just finally say, just yes, while, finally. You, while you yeah. were off as well, yeah. I said at the start, two of the movies that I saw that I thought were absolutely brilliant. Jamie, I thought when we were away, Poor Things and All of Us Strangers, I think they're two of the best movies I've seen in ages. But to be fair, they're weird and they were divisive. And a great friend of ours thought All of Us Strangers was the worst thing he's ever seen. And said, <laughs> I know who that they're is. Just tr- they just tried to be clever. He was so annoyed by it. He sent me really yeah. angry text messages. But I I, I cried and I, it's I, it's two weeks and I can't get it out of my head. And Poor Things, Emma Stone, I think, has to win the Oscar. It's mad and it's weird. And that's coming back we, it was finished its run in the cinema, but once it got nominated for 11 Oscars, people kept on texting going, please, I didn't get to see it. So it's back for a couple of nights. And uh, the two, if somebody, you want to like your out there movies, but if you like your out there movies, poor things. And if you if you like a good weep in the cinema or you have any unresolved issues with your parents, and let's face it, <laughs> if you're listening to this, you're Irish and probably you do. All of us strangers is something special. I love oh, it. Go on, you poor thing. You. Yeah. I will talk to you next week. Enjoy the movies. That's Carly on Movies. Bye.